What's up creators, it's Curtis here. And in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can create personalized products, publish them for sale, and fulfill them all within my designs. Now this system isn't completely perfected. We're, we're playing updates daily, but at least I wanna show you how it works so you can understand the entire flow. Uh, so let's jump right in. So I'm over here on our demo account in my designs. Let me go down to canvas. As you can see, I'm here in our new graphic design editor, and I'm gonna search for the aluminum uh, round ornament. So we'll do that. Now I already created a design ahead of time just to save us uh, save us time. And it's already saved to my listings page, published Etsy, etc. So I got an order ready for us on the orders page to show you how that entire process works. But I'm going to quickly show you kind of what I did. So I'm going to grab, I got this fat or this uh, image from Creative Fabrica, made some changes to it. I kind of removed the text that was on there previously, but I want to just kind of show you how this process works. So I already have this design actually done, so I can just copy paste it because I do have it pasted. But I want to show you that there. Now it's the same thing I just had, but I added these text layers here. And you can easily do that by going to text, add text. And this one, in this case, I'm using the Allura font. Now these ones I'm using the Amiri font. And you see it's a couple different lines of text, which is really important because I can save this now as an editable design to my listings page and then go publish it as ornaments. And when someone buys that on the orders page, you can actually just open this up. You'll see the personalization request and make the changes instantly. Hit approve, you're done. It's getting extremely easy. So let's jump right into it. So let's say you have a design done. Now the first thing you want to do is go to save to collection and you can see up here first off I'm in this personalized ornaments folder in the demo collection. So I'm just going to save this as edible. We'll just write test for the time being. And what that'll do is save it over to your listings page where you can go, you know, add your titles, descriptions, tags, generate mockups if you like, and then go publish them. So let's move over to the listings page. So this is the one I just created. And what's great about this now that's on the listings page, let's say you forgot something or you need to make a quick change. You can click this little icon up here now and it'll open it back up in the same canvas editor. You can make any changes you like here, such as adjusting colors, moving images, adding other elements, etc., and then just click over right when you're done. But moving on, I'm gonna go down to the ornament that I already have done. As you can see, I got some titles here, description and the tags. This is the same image. So I'm gonna select that. As you can see, I just have that one. Now you could go ahead and just generate mockups in bulk ahead of time. But, I'm, but because the ornaments and mockups are the same during the publishing process, I'm just gonna do it during publishing. So let's go publish, products. This is our test shop. I'm gonna change this to ornaments. So run a search, seasonal decor, ornaments, and pick a product. Now let's start with that aluminum uh, ornament. So I'm just typing that in here. And you can see Swift POD fulfills this. So I'm gonna click that. And now this opens up on the new publishing page. We have a new canvas system here. It's replaced the old one again. It's not perfect. We are consistently working on this. You can see in this case, the design's too small. So it's another little bug we're fixing, but it's easy to fix by clicking this. Now you can just drag this to the size that you need it to be, such as we had it previously. Let me adjust this just a bit, maybe a tiny bit bigger. And if you ever need to zoom in, you can use your mouse wheel like this, or you have these little uh, controls down here as well. But let's say that was pretty much good. I'll go just a tad bit bigger. And I think positioning wise, it's good. So when you're ready, you can just click save. And again, you can see the mockups generating a new preview now. And I'm actually gonna select all four of these mockups. So we can get those previews generating. And we will wait for that. So you can see this one's already done. Everything looks great there. So I'm gonna leave that. You can check through these other mockups as well. And this is awesome. So let's go add the ceramic ornament as well. Why not give the customer more choices to choose from? So now we have the aluminum ornament and we have the ceramic ornament that we're adding to the same personalized listing. It's extremely awesome. And you can generate more mockups, but again, they're pretty much the same. So I'm just gonna actually do, uh, do not generate previews because they're gonna look very similar. So we'll just go with that. Again, you do want to double check that this one, because the print area is just a tiny bit different, also gets adjusted. Now, tomorrow, by the time you're watching this video, we will most likely have that fixed. But if not, you always wanna double check that canvas and make sure that everything looks good there. So I think that will probably do. Go right there and hit save. Now again, if you wanted to generate a preview for that to make sure it looks good, you could, and maybe I will just leave, I'll change it to this one, turn that one off, and just leave that there. But in this case, we're good to move on to the next step. So because we created an editable design in the canvas editor and saved it to the listings page, now that's what we're publishing. We're gonna actually be able to personalize this on the orders page with the customer's information. 
So I'm gonna go choose prices to move to the next step. First thing I wanna do is I don't like the uh, size prefix down here, so I'm just gonna actually get rid of a round. We'll just call it straight up aluminum ornament and click apply. You can see that adjusted up here. We'll go to the ceramic one and do the same. Just get rid of that additional text as it's not really needed for this product. And that's good. So now I'm gonna add pricing. We'll go 2198, hit apply, and go back to the uh, aluminum one and add the same. Whoops, 2198, and hit apply. And now go preview. All right here you get a preview of your primary mockup along with the print file. Uh, you got your title, descriptions, tags, they're all here. And over here on the right, now you can see MDSV, SVG shop is a demo shop that we're publishing this to. Who made it? You can say another company or person. I need to actually add the production partner there, but you could do that and then you choose Swift POD and do that. So I'm gonna change this back, a member of my shop, a finished product. I think we'll go with that, that'll work. And then personalization, this is what I wanted to tap into. You wanna click here. And I already have some pre-made text for this particular listing, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Let me make this a bit bigger so you can see this. So basically it says, please include, number one, the name exactly as you as it should appear, and it gives an example. So Ella is just like the mock-up. Number two, text for the second line, i.e. first Christmas. Number three, the year 2023. As you can see, we have those different options here. And then of course, to give an example, which I always recommend. That way a customer can see how they need to put the, the data in. It's so got Ella's first Christmas, 2023 is the example. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click publish. Everything looks good. We check the personalization box there, and now that's off to go to Etsy. So that is already live on Etsy through this listing, but I'm gonna pull it up just to show you. So let's go open that up in Etsy. Whoops, didn't mean to hit preview. So you can take a look at what this looks like. So here is basically what the customer would see. Now, if you're just publishing personalized products and it's your first time, obviously when you go to Etsy, you need to go to your draft folder and then publish it, and then it's good to go. But as you can see under the sizes, we got the aluminum ornament, three inches, and the ceramic ornament, three inches. So the customer has two different choices to choose from. You can see the different mockups we have here. So everything looks great. Now, of course, the personalization box, let me move this out of the way, is right here. So you get the example like we put in there. So when the customer goes ahead and puts in their information, which I did earlier as a test, it should be just like this. So Adeline's first Christmas, 2023. They add that to the cart, they purchase it, then it shows up on your My Designs orders page. So let's go back uh, over there so we can see what that looks like. Because I already have an order in there waiting for this example. So I'm gonna go to orders. And every personalized order on My Designs isn't going to automatically be fulfilled. It'll go to manual review right here, as you can see at the top of the orders page. So from here, you can click on the order and that'll pop it up. So you can see all the information about the order and if you like it, you can hit approve, but of course this is a personalized order. So you wanna personalize it first. One thing that I really like about what we just added is you got this personalization request. So you can see this from the customer, Adeline's first Christmas, 2023. So that's really nice. So now I can just click this personalize button and again, it's gonna open that up in our new Canvas editor. And this request is also here. So when you hover over this request, you can see that text above it, that, that data. That's actually coming from Etsy. That's the message you put on in on the order in case you ever need reminded. So if you have hundreds of listings, you wanna probably see what that text is that you're asking the customers for. And of course you can see their request. So I could just go right here and just copy Adeline because it looks like everything else in this case is the same and just paste it here. Now, if you do need to change that, like adjust the size of the font, maybe I'll go to 110. So it's not quite so big. You can do that very easily here. You can move that around, do whatever you want. And this opens up a lot of possibilities, but it's this easy. So now when I click overwrite, then it's going to um, update the mockup here. So once the print file is replaced with the new print file that we just created for you, then this mockup will update and we'll take a look at that. And if everything looks good, we'll go ahead and just click approve order down here and that's it. That's how easy it is to personalize products inside my designs. So it's getting really incredible because you can create designs that are editable, then go publish those as personalized products and then of course fulfill them in literally seconds on the orders page without having to have all these different external apps or services. It's all built into my designs. Uh, that's taking a minute to update, so I'll come back when it's finished. All right, so that's updated. So you can see here, now I can just click the mock-up and it'll open it up in a much bigger view so that you can see that everything looks good. Now, if you're happy with that, you can go ahead and approve the order. If you still don't like it, you wanna make changes, again, you just click personalize and put the data in and then click approve. So in this case, everything looks good. It's exactly as the customer requested. And I'm just gonna click approve order and you will always get this notification. That way you don't accidentally approve something you're not ready to approve. 
you click I want to continue and then continue. And now it's gonna print that order is gonna be submitted. And that print file will be sent to SwiftPOD in this case, and it'll automatically be fulfilled. And again, again, if you always if you would like to check the print file, you can open the print file here to see the new one. As you can see, everything looks great. So that is how easy it is to create and sell personalized products through my designs. And in the near future, we're gonna automate a lot of this part of the process too, if you like. So it can automatically insert, in this case, the customer's name and so forth. But that is a quick overview of the entire personalization process. You can get very creative, personalized products, the top selling products by far on Etsy, almost across the board, especially with different trending holidays and whatnot. So Christmas being a great one, ornaments are obviously a good example, mugs do great, sweatshirts do great. There's a lot of different products you can jump into, but enabling personalization is gonna really truly help you, I would say, explode your sales, especially once you get in to find good niches, good ideas, and then come into my designs, you can do everything from my designs now. And again, the system is brand new, we're still working out some kinks, there's quite a few little bugs here and there, but we are improving that and over the next week or two, everything should be perfected and working smoothly. But thank you, if you have questions, let me know by leaving a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos, which I'm gonna be making very uh, tons more videos, especially once we polish this a bit further. But let me know if you'd like to see more videos, let me know the types of personalized products you'd like to see and different ways you can do that, and I will create them. Thank you, have a great day.